Hi everybody, Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to open up and create a map key for opening the calculator from within Windows. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is go over to the command search tool and type in map. Because map keys are not listed in the ribbon, you have to access it this way. So you pick on the map key command and then within the map key command you're going to see the new button. So you select that new button, you get another dialog box that gives you access to recording that map key. Now, the key sequence that comes up by default in this case here was the function key F2. I'm going to leave it that way. The way I determined that that was a function key was the dollar symbol that's ahead of the, the letter F in that sequence. I'm just going to type in calculator so that I have that uh, in the description and I do it the same there. And in normal map key that you're going to run from within Creo Parametric and launch one of the commands in Creo Parametric, you would use the Creo Parametric tab here and choose what type of uh, prompt hand handling you'd like to have. In this case, because I'm going to go outside of Creo Parametric into the Windows calculator, I'm going to actually use the OS script tab that you see here to the right of the Creo Parametric tab. Now, I need to know what the script is in Windows that drives you know, the actual path to that calculator.exe. So there's a quick way to get that in Windows 7. All I have to do is go over to the search tool and start typing in calculator. It's going to start to populate anything that has those typed words in there or letters in there. Now I'm going to hover my cursor over where it says calculator and then I'm going to use the right mouse button so that it activates another menu. The second line in that menu, it's going to say open the file location. I'm going to select that file location so that it opens up a Windows browser and I can see exactly what path that is to that calc.exe command. Once that's opened, you can come over here to the address window, right click on that and say copy this address as text. That pastes that to your clipboard. Now what I'm going to do is go back down over into the OS script tab in my map keys dialog box. I'm going to right click on that and select paste. Once that's been pasted into position, I'm now going to continue with the calc command. So I'm going to put a backslash in there, type in the word calc, then .exe for the executable command itself. And remember my key sequence is function 2, so I'm just going to say OK with this. Now, what I typically like to do when you're creating a map key is I'll save the map key that's been changed. I'm going to give that map key the name of what I had just done. In this case here, I'm going to call it F2. So I'm going to get rid of the config.pro and just have F2.pro. The reason I suggest this is if you want to distribute this to other members of your staff, it makes it easy just to send that off to somebody and they can just graph that simply by using a text editor into their existing config.pro file. I'm just going to say go ahead and uh, OK on that and I'm going to close out my map keys dialog box. Now when I want to have the calculator all I need to do is go and tap that F2 key. I can make my uh, calculation and then I can edit and copy that to my clipboard and then paste it into my Pro Engineer command box or field where it's looking for a value of some sort. So I eliminate that tendency for somebody to use the old sausage fingers and miss key a value that they may have come up with from their calculator that sits alongside their desk. You'll also notice when I close out the calculator, it closes out the DOS command prompt and puts me back into Creo. I hope you find this map key useful. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Have a great day.